All right, so everybody knows it's the best time to start up. What's with all the noise in here? Don't make me do it. Uh, everyone knows the best time to start a project is when it's uh, minus, well, no, it's minus zero now, which is probably very bad. Okay, so. As you can see, over the years, our disgusting little dogs, which have dirt on their backs and everything else going on, have destroyed this flap. This this dog flap. How long have we had this dog door? Probably over ten years. This is this is over ten years old. So I mean, this is this is. Yeah, it's paid its dues. That's for sure. But now it's getting to the point where it's it's just shot. It's just, it's not a matter of it just being. Uh, no longer aesthetically pleasing, it is absolutely baked. So we ordered a new one from PetSmart, or PetSafe, sorry. And it gave some simple instructions, which I think I can even do. Ooh, I even have a screwdriver. Here's an extra bonus. That one there, and this one here, this one here looks... A little more tinted, actually. That may just be, I don't know, that may not be true. It looks it, though. Of course, it looked darker ones down here. Anyways, never mind. Let's get to work. Let's see here. Seems simple enough so far. description in case anybody else has discovered that they needed a new one of these. I oh, don't see this. That moves around once you get that all loosened up. Interesting. So there's a backing plate here, which I thought was on this side actually, so I wasn't really looking for it. Wow, it's getting cold fast. So, shove this back in here. difficult than I actually envisioned it to be. I guess this would be easier if you had a thinner door. So I'm just going to put this in loosely. Did I mention it was zero degrees? Or minus zero? Yeah, I think it did. Just close, not tight though. Because you need to adjust this up and down. Holding it from the back because I don't want to push on that plastic. Especially not in temperatures like this. Alright. I'm going to hook it all the way up on the top. You 
got this you got the slide range right down to actually let me see if there's anything in the instructions on that is there maybe something to put the gap in so I'm gonna read that so it's telling you to adjust it you know obviously left right up and down but it's not really saying how because where your magnet comes in contact with the bottom there should be just enough of an air gap where that's not the magnets not rubbing on it so i'm going to probably shove this piece of paper underneath that doubled up or maybe i'll use the other one i don't know i'm gonna use a piece of paper doubled up underneath that just to give myself the air gap underneath there we'll see how that goes to show you what i'm talking about with the gap as i move this up and down you can see how much of a gap there is there and whoops didn't mean to move you around So if you go all the way up with it, that's obviously way too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a little bit of an air gap here. my left and right is okay and then I'm gonna get my screwdriver I'm just gonna tighten these guys up and we'll see how that goes whoops all right so I'm gonna take my screwdriver now that I've got my artificial air gap in there and while I'm pushing this in slightly to make sure it's straight up and down, I'm going to tighten my screws and we'll see how that goes. Right, checking my side gap again. Just making sure my left to right's okay. That's it there. To readjust this, I don't think that looks right. Nope, it's gonna have to come over more to the left. Too high is too much. So I'm just going to lower the hair. Better. Good. That's even on all sides. Don't touch anything. I'm gonna look for the gap on the bottom. That looks okay. So let me get you down a little bit lower so you can see the gap on the bottom. Let's see, you can see there's just a tiny bit of an air gap there, but I mean you're not gonna be able to get it any tighter than that. 
or it's just gonna physically hit. So, excellent. My work is done here. You are now free to roam about the cabin. <laughs>